Hello, this is Dr. Jeff Tarrant, director of the Neuro Meditation Institute in Eugene, Oregon. I wanted to share with you today some of the EEG data that we collected from Laura Lynn Jackson while she was engaged in both psychic and mediumship activities. So the first slide that we're looking at is really showing the raw EEG. So you see those squiggle lines on the left side of the screen. And we isolated just a few of those rather than looking at all 19 that we recorded for simplicity's sake. When you're looking at that raw EEG, you can see the blue line, which is kind of what we would expect. Uh, it's more contained. If you notice, there's two lines, the orange and the red, that are significantly larger. Those are both located in the right frontal region of the brain, and this was happening while Lara was engaged in a psychic reading. So what we can discern from this is that something different is happening in that right frontal region, which you can see isolated on the right side of the screen. What is the right frontal lobe involved with? Lots of things most of which is sustaining attention. So something is changing about the way that Lara is paying attention when she's engaged in these psychic tests. And in fact, kind of looks like that region is going offline. So it's shifting out of a normal way of engaging and paying attention. So one of the things that's unique about the way Lara perceives information is that she sees mediumship information in her right visual field and she sees psychic information in her left visual field. Now, the way that visual information gets processed in the brain is it actually comes in the eyes, crosses over in the middle of the brain, and then goes to the opposite sides of the occipital lobe at the back of the head. And what you see with Laura's brain is that those areas light up corresponding to exactly what she says. So the left side lights up when she's doing a mediumship reading, seeing on the right side. And the right side of the brain lights up when she's seeing psychic information on the left side. It crosses over. And then finally, one of the other things we noticed was that during a psychic reading, there was a huge increase of a brain wave called gamma, both gamma 1 and gamma 2. And the reason that this is particularly relevant is because gamma is the fastest brain wave that we measure. It has to do with getting information, but without efforting. It's like being in a flow state or being in the zone. And you can see that it's showing up centrally right in the middle of the brain, but also again, back in that occipital lobe. So this suggests that there's something going on during these psychic readings where parts of the brain are being engaged at a high level in a way that you might see with like Tibetan monks engaged in a compassion meditation.